Hello, my name is William Escudero. The project is Interactive Smart Table version 2.0. My product owner is Hari Alafar. My professor is Dr. Masood Sayari. As technology takes over meeting and conference rooms, the desk remains unchanged and offline. This can reduce interaction and engagement, which can decrease productivity and lower the effectiveness of the event. There's usually in a meeting, there is the meeting initiator, uh, which is the person presenting and uh, going through the slides. And then you have the meeting members, which are uh, there uh, taking in the information. And sometimes they, they might have questions and uh, um, they might ask those questions and the meeting initiator will respond. Uh, but that, that'll be the end of the, of the interaction between the meeting initiators and, and the member. Um, what the interactive smart table is trying to do is it's uh, connect every meeting member together by placing a smart display on at every seat and connecting and uh, connecting them together um, this this uh, smart display is, is powered by by the smart table software suite which is basically a collaboration suite that provides a shared canvas so basically, you have the shared canvas like a like a whiteboard that you could brainstorm, um, and it's connected to everybody else. So whatever you do on that canvas, it replicates uh, to to the other screens, and you know everybody can collaborate. Uh, so so let's say you have a, a an idea that deserves further developing right there in that meeting. Everybody can just use the ta the smart screen and 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 brainstorm that idea in the meeting uh, they don't have to wait to go back to the offices or 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 whatever and 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 then and then write in the the ideas or they can right there collaborate and come up with with at least some reference for later the software suite also provides a a file sharing component which if you want to bring any files into the meeting you can do that through that component um, you can upload any file and any meeting member can also see that file and open it. Um, the, and the last component, I should say the main, the, the, one of the most important components here is the presentation component. Uh, this component allows you to open a presentation and just start going through the slides. So, and, and every meeting member can um, annotate or make um, suggestions on the current slide. Um, once once the meeting initiator starts a presentation, um, the meeting members can only see the the current slide and they can annotate it. Um, the one of the core principles here is is um, that this application is is stateless. It means I, I'm sorry, it's stateful, which means um, it keeps the state. So if you switch between components in a, in a meeting um, and start working on something else, you can go back to the component that you were previously in and you can, the, the changes will still be there. You can see the changes that were done while you were in another component. Um, so basically the application, the, the basically this project, the, the whole project as a, as a whole, is, is made of two major components, the hardware side and the software side. The hardware side, um, what I focused on the most here was the software side. Um, the hardware side, what I used for prototyping was a Raspberry Pi connected to a touchscreen. And the, but the software side was designed with portability and um, if, uh, efficiency in mind. Uh, why I do this is because their software needs to be able to run on on commodity hardware. It needs to be able to run uh, fast uh, because this will drive down the price point for for the table, which can potentially uh, increase the adoption rates. Uh, here we have a diagram of well, a very very high level diagram of of what this product, the software side of the product is. Uh, the application was done with the Electron JS app, which basically allows you to take uh, all the almost all the web technologies used uh, that, are, that are cutting edge today, 
and use that to build a native app for 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 the the whatever OS that you, that you be that you can run on on your hardware. Um, so the the one of the seats um, runs the 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 the. the Say one of the seats runs the, the, the screen there, uh, and it sends a re the other part of, of this project is the backend. I should mention the backend was done uh, with PHP uh, using the GE framework uh, and a MySQL uh, database. Um, here's a, a diagram, a class that I have very high level diagram of, of the of, of the back in the the green is the core functionality and the orange is the rest um, component it the, basically the core functionality is exposed um, through the rest is exposed outside through the rest component so the 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 application makes requests using the rest api so and the rest api um, passes down the the data to the core the core process it um, for, for instance, going back to that to that file sharing component, if if I were to upload a file, uh, that that file gets uploaded to the cloud. So um, the request will come into the REST API, and the core would take that data and upload the file to the to the cloud. In this case, for this project, there was uh, the Amazon uh, cloud or AWS. Going back to the diagram here. And so now I would like to go ahead and uh, present uh, what, what, what was done in this project in regards to the application. Okay, let's see here. So let me run the application. So when a user sits at a table, um, if there's no meeting in progress, this is what they will see, and then any member can initiate the meeting. Um, so let me go ahead and, and do that. So I'm, right now I'm initiating the meeting, and so I'm dropped into the to the share canvas component. Uh, on this component, you can um, write uh, anything. You can uh, manipulate any media that's on this canvas, make it bigger, smaller. Um, put it sideways and stuff like that. Um, then you got your basic shapes. This is not entirely completed, the basic shapes, but it's an option there. Um, you can also drag and drop media onto the canvas because I know sometimes you have some images that you want to bring into to, to a brainstorming session. So say I, I want to do that, so I, uh, I can go ahead and um, basically just drag that image onto the canvas and it'll, it'll become part of it. Um, it's it's pretty much all the images are supported here. Um, yeah, so you can you can manipulate those images as well. Can resize them. You can write over them. You can annotate them. Stop like that. You can also drop, drag and drop YouTube videos. Uh, in case you 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 have something that you want to add, you can just simply uh, drag that link onto the camps, and then it'll create kind of like a preview of that video uh, with with a, with a thumbnail uh, the title of the video and the address uh, in case you you want a reference to that uh, video later uh, and you can also if you if you double click that element you can play that video <laughs> And so you can ex export this canvas uh, as a PDF or a PNG, uh, but you can also save it in its own format. 
So if you want to load it back in later, you can do that. The way, the reason why I did, why I, why I designed the, its own format is because uh, elements like videos, for example, uh, if, if you want to be able to replay that back, it's the, the system is to know a way of recreating that video so you could, you'll be able to play it. Um, and so you can also record whatever you do on the canvas. So if you say you want to, instead of having a meeting, you, you want to, uh, you know, um, conduct a class or, or, or whatever, you could record that and play it back later. Um, and so basically this is, this is what will be running on the hardware. And uh, I, I, I want to stress that this is right now a platform and uh, it'll be great if, if it is used to, to build on, on it and expand it with new features. And so this is my, my introduction to the application. I hope you like it. Um, if I have any questions or anything, just drop me an email and I'll answer it. Thank you.